All right, so we're gonna talk to this guy right here. This guy in Ogremar has dual uh, talent specialization. We're doing this because I want to try to do some dungeons now, specifically B or D. And I heard that there's a really good spec that you can do as a warrior, which includes the gladiator stance. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we are gonna be equipping a sword and a shield. And we're going to be respecking our second spec here into a little bit of like a fury slash arms mixture. And we're going to try to play with the gladiator stance build, chat. Okay? I really hope glad stance warrior will be sick. And this will be my first time ever trying it out here. Um, so I got recommended like some stuff to do, obviously, in terms of the runes. I talked to my good friend Bikini Body a little bit about it as well. Uh, these right here... Are the uh, are the runes we're gonna go with in the beginning, guys? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna crank these runes in real fast here. So first things first, our gloves. Gloves we're gonna do devastate because we are gonna be like a defensive stance person now. Uh, our wrists will do rampage for attack power whenever we get enraged. Uh, our feet. Gladiator stance. An aggressive stance that increases damage while you are wearing a shield by 10% and increases block chance by 10% as well. Reduces armor and threat generation, but we gain more rage when we auto attack. So the glad stance will be the one that we're going to be sitting in. It's actually going to be always in glad stance, I guess. I've never used this. What? Okay. So this is the stance we're going to be doing. Okay, cool. Then we're doing Furious Thunder. For big AoE chat, Thunderclap now increases the time between attacks by an additional 6% and can be used in any stance. It also deals 100% more damage. So this is going to be our big AoE, obviously. Then, I think we just go Focused Rage, because we're not going to be using Slams. And now Chest, we're going to go Blood Frenzy, so we can Rend, I guess. This is like a weird one, it doesn't really matter too much, I think. And then I, I think we want to go, um, we want to go shield mastery. Because we just do more damage while we have a shield on, right? We also do more threat on Thunderclap. But because we have glad stands, we do less threat. So we do 30% less threat by being in glad stands. But we get 50% more threat from here, right? So it kind of like, it's a little bit more threat, but it's not that bad, right? Uh, we are going to be going a, um... Little bit of an interesting build, I guess. We're gonna try this out. We're gonna see how this works. This is the build chat. It's like a fury slash arms build because we want to go in and get the thunderclap and stuff like that, right? So the first thing we'll get is the, the clap. We'll get the clap first, chat. So we gotta get some rent. We're gonna get a little bit of deflection for some parry stuff, and we're gonna get thunderclap because we're gonna be doing a lot of clapping today, chat. Um, we should go down and get deep wounds, I think, as well. Um, does this matter for? For circumstance or for uh, this, I think this does increase the damage also in um, gladiator stance. We're gonna be sitting in glad in glad stance the entire time, so we don't need tactical mastery. We just need D wounds, and we could go. I mean, ugh, it's like, ugh, what do we do now, right? We just need impale, really. Anger management, though, but we, we won't be... Yeah, anger management is good, but yeah, we'll go overpower, and then we're gonna go impale, right? Now we can go into cruelty. And I think... I mean, I don't know. These are all kind of dank, honestly. Area of effect. Unbridled Wrath is such a bait, because it's like so little actual rage that you get from it. It's like one extra point of rage. I think we'll just go booming. Alright, and then we want to go battle shot, of course. Uh, enrage. Yes, it's good, but we gotta be crit then, right, ourselves. I think we do go fury. I, I, The build I saw wants to go all of these, but these, I don't really see a big reason for these, especially for leveling as well. Improved cleave ain't bad. It is pretty bad. Improved cleave is pretty bad because it increases damage by 120%, but it's 120% of like 32 it's, it's like, okay, but it's not crazy, right? We don't want to go dual wheel specialization. We do want to go execute, because execute is nice. I think we'll go execute, and we'll go enrage, because I'm leveling as well. Right, and then we can go death wish. 
We don't really need slam. We don't need dual wheel specialization. We don't really need intercept. I think we'll just go in here and then we'll go cleave. And we'll do a little bit of flur flurry. Yeah, I think we'll go flurry. I think this is good. It's it's a, a weird one, but we're gonna try it out. No, I don't have to swap any like any any ability can be used in in, in glad stance, so I don't have to swap at all. Like everything I want to use, I can I can use in glad stance. Yeah, Rick, shield wall, everything. I I literally I only sit in this stance now. If when I play this spec, I only sit in uh, in this one stance. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, I know Body wanted to join, so we need a group of uh, five people, chat. That would like to join for a um, some BRD. I haven't done any any dungeons really yet, so there's a healer that wants to join. Okay, we're gonna try it out, chat. We're gonna try it out a little bit. I want to see how it goes. Um, this is BRD entrance right now. It's non-stop war with horde holding the entrance. Wait, what is this? The BRD entrance? Oh my god! What? Jesus! Blackrock eruption event, 56 minutes remaining. Blackrock is erupting. You are setting aside your petty squabbles to focus on defeating the forces of Fire Lord. You currently gain no honor from PvP combat. Wait, what? Wait, is that how it works? Wait, and then there's a bunch of like mobs around or what's going on? I see the areas, like, it's like raining ash. Honor is only gained inside the mountain. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, what the, what the hell? Okay, dude, this is completely weird, okay. Okay, let's go up here. Holy crap, okay, so it's literally just going crazy here. Interesting. Are, are these the dailies then? Okay, so this is the dailies. Prior be. Ah. Look out, Captain Lolo wants you to destroy Duke Searbrand. You'll find Duke Searbrand in the lowest depth of the slag pit. Watch your back. So there's one daily here, and then there is. What can I do for you? Five Flamelinger Stalkers. Yeah, soon. Safe travels. Some Obsidian Reavers. Keep your feet on you the ground. My attention. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Talk to me. Walk uh, with chunk you. of Watch shimmering ma lava. Be good. Okay. So this is all the dailies you can do. Not though. Not this, obviously. Walk with you. Okay, so they don't show up as like a daily quest here, but th this is the dailies you can do with the Blackrock Eruption, I guess. Holy crap. This guy's so big. Alright, well, l l let's do the BRD first, chat. We got a group for BRD, so we're gonna do that first. Nice. Okay, so what is this? Your blood is running hot and honor gains from killing PvP are increased by 300%. Ah, uh, okay. So that's why everybody's PvPing here instead. So you get three times the amount of honor. What here is there. this? You got my attention. What is happening Walk here? Getting into all the raids is gonna be horrible. Oh my god, it actually will. You're gonna have to make like actual like uh, raid squads running together. I guess it's only active like once an hour, every other hour, right, or something like that. So it's like active half the time. Okay, it looks like it's horde controlled though, so that that's nice. Oh my god, dude, these alliance, man, they're strong. Oh, yeah, oh my god, and shamans can ghost wolf indoors now, because of the rune. Oh my god, shamans are gonna be such a pain in the ass. Oh, man. There's a shaman rune where you can ghost wolf inside now. Bro, look at those corpses. Oh my god. Well, luckily, it's hard controlled right now. All right, let's do this. This is gonna be my first time trying out the um, For the, horde. the glad stands. Oh wait, druids can. Oh yeah, there's tree of life. Bro, this is so weird. This is so strange. Okay, uh, Aji or Winfrey totem. Oh yeah, you guys need to figure out your totems. 
Yeah, you guys, you guys need to figure that out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so how do we do the AoE? Do we just kind of like... I guess we want to focus on doing as many... Uh... Oh, no. My sword skill. Guys, we're going to have to wait a little bit so we can see the potential of the build before I get my sword skill. Because, um, yeah, I don't have sword skill at the moment. A few moments later. Okay, we're going to try the spec now, chat. We only have... Um... Two, six, two, four, six weapon skills. So we're not, it's not going to be that good yet, but we're, it's going to be the boss. Hopefully we get the Savage Glad Chain boss. We're hoping for an orc to come out here, guys. An orc? Ah, Eviscerator. It's always this guy, but we'll try. Guys, seriously, thank you, though, man. What the heck? Okay, so we want to spam Devastate as much as, can, as we can, right? Into, like, overpowers and other stuff as well. And we'll see how it goes here. 10 k Oh... Okay, dude, hold on. Once we get some weapon skill, guys. This is actually a really good build, by the way. Once we get some weapon skill, it's gonna be good. Okay, so I guess we want a Thunderclap for AoE, right? And do we want a Whirlwind as well? Maybe Whirlwind isn't worth it. Yeah. I don't think it's that good. At least not quite yet. But we'll, we'll keep trying it out. Okay. The Thunderclap doesn't do, like, an insane amount of damage. But I guess we can weave it in with other stuff, right? Hey, we're actually starting to top the meters now, though. Wait! Okay, dude, now we're popping, eh? Now we're starting to do damn. The 256 sword skill now. I also noticed we're actually getting a lot of XP as well in, in the in the dungeon, which is nice. There it is. Pick that, nice. Test it out. I, I think with the Gladstein stuff, we just have to like test out specs and like see what works. Because I think the build can actually really work. Yeah, it definitely can work, I think. Okay, let's do some AoE here. It's definitely not bad. Like, I can vibe with this. I think, right? Do we just want to spam execute when we get it to execute, or what's going on with that? I'm playing Fury right now, doing around 5 to 7 DPS. Works fine for me. Okay, okay. I think the fun part about this game, though, is like trying out the different specs and seeing how they work. We're two. We need nine more sword skills, though. Uh, does Hodge drop off of Anger Forge now? Is that like a thing in Sod, or do you gotta go all the way deep inside? Last boss. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't know if we can do a full run, because our tank is 52, right? Oh my god, I don't hit on this guy. Look at my damage, because my weapon skill is so low. Oh no, I need higher levels, man. Yeah, I'm too low level to hit this guy. He's a menace level with 54. The cool thing about this build is I also, like, apply Sunders as well. Okay. Doing a pretty average damage. We got it, dude. We're leveling it up. We're leveling it up. For tarnished... Oh! Oh, wait. I, just, I did loot that right now. Okay, yeah. So you can loot these uh, under my real thingamajigs, guys. And these are used for a bunch of consumes and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure where the vendor is for this. Like, every single boss above level 54, guys, you ha make sure you loot them in dungeons. Okay, there's apparently a guy in Booty Bay, where it's just a vendor for these Undermine Reels. We can check that a little bit later, what he sells. But just make sure if you do dungeons with mobs above level 54, that you loot the bosses, always, okay? Because they can drop that stuff. Is there anyone that's, like, lower level? Oh, this guy's okay. Wait, where are they running? Get back here. Okay, parry. I still miss so much, man. Especially on the higher level mobs like this. I don't know how deep we should go into the dungeon. I guess we can go do the... Uh, the coffer thing? Okay. I'm the Sunder Slave. Bro, the Sunder Slave is popping off on damage, okay? Even with low weapon skill and high level mobs, we're kind of cranking it. Oh, I got another seal there. 
Okay, so each boss is a seal. Nice. Dude, okay, look, 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 look. Mobs that are our level, chat? Hey. We're doing damage. Look, 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 look. Hey. Get away from those kicks. Hey, I need more rage. Oh my god, I forgot we can, like, wreck and stuff. I don't... Sadly, I don't think wreck affects, uh... Thunderclap, which is a shame. Nice, got a quest done. This is actually not a bad eye patch, but with how good the gear is now, we don't need this. I don't feel like the uh, the clap does as much damage as I would like it to do. I guess we'll see how much it, it does actually here after this fight. Oh, my clap is actually my top damage. Yeah. On big AoE, I guess it is worth clapping. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot, a lot of dudes like this, we clap, right? That's like 260 damage. I'm not even sure if it can clap, uh, can crit. Keep clapping. And that Shaman AoE with a Flame Shock, though, is pretty insane. It is pretty nutty. Oh my god, that's a lot of mobs. Jesus Christ. Shaman AoE is freaking nuts, man. It's actually insane. Is this the tank top DPSing right now? Cheeky one here, and we're gonna ding, guys. We're 260 weapon skill now, and we're level 54 in the chat. What's up, Romino? Good to see you, man. Oh my god, they're all immune. Oh my god, they're all immune. Hey, let's go, dude. 54 game gamers, gamers, gamers. So two more levels and I get this. I still don't know if this is the best build to go for. For so, dude, you know what I would actually would, would think could be better than this? Maybe getting sword specialization. I don't know. I don't really know. There, there's some. We, we need to work out like some how the build would work for. Uh, for this, Grim Gossel says the rogue meta is currently spamming. Spamming backstab and nothing else because mutilate is useless. Phase four truly is changing the meta, guys. Hey, two six five sword skill, guys. Not bad. Not bad. We're getting there, baby. We're getting there. And what is this? Chills. Really toxic, actually. Also, I want her to... Should I rend? I think I should. I am specked into the rend rune. It doesn't feel good to use, though. They're also immune to it, so it doesn't matter, I guess. There we go. I don't think I want to clap on single target when I have uh, Devastate to press, right? You're so handsome. I know. Thank you. Oh, nice. Oh my god, I missed my attack. It is really punishing missing attacks, though. There we go. So now we can start clapping them, right? Okay. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff, dudes. Let's go. Gonna be awake till 3 a.m. and then sleep for 17 hours. Okay. This should also give us a uh, item thing, right? Or whatever it is. Did you get one? No items? What? What do you mean no items? Like no token. Ah! Leg plates. Uh, pass. I'll pass. 
Someone can take for loot if they uh, for, for money if they want. Did, do we have the Shadow Forge key? We have key. Ah, oh, Tisaman has it. Nice. Not bad. So we need to find the dudes with the the fire stuff, eh? Oh my lord. Bro, Shaman Tank is actually biss for this. With the lightning shield thing. Oh my god. They are so good for this. Uh, they should put down Winfrey Totem. Uh, surely they are, right? Oh, don't take it here. This is really bad. Uh, yeah, put it in the corner. Oh gosh, it's fine. I don't even know why I'm worried. This isn't hardcore. I didn't resist the stun, dude. How unlucky are we? But yeah, I think the build has potential to do decent damage. Wind Fury! Wind Fury! Dude, you know what? We need always to have a Feral Druid. Because they permanently have Wind Fury up. Ooh, now we got that Wind Fury, baby. Bring it over. Bring over the totems. Killing the princess? Uh, I think we can, unless someone want to save her. For a quest, we can kill her. After the whole dungeon, I have almost caught up with my sword skill now. Wow. That took a while. <laughs> so strange how we're thunderclapping for damage. It really is weird, but it, it, it's doing good damage, but it's so strange. Thunderclap is my top damage by far on AoE. Uh, I don't have enough talent points for Bloodthirst yet, because I was a little bit of a stupid person when I made the build. Um, so we'll see. How is Gladstones? It feels alright, actually. I think I'm going to keep playing with it and, and see how I like it. I want to keep seeing how I feel with it. I, I might want to go Sword Specialization spec, though. I don't know, man. I need to, like, play around a little bit with the different builds. And then see what could uh, be the best. Because I don't I don't think this is the best build that you can use for this. There's probably a better one. Do I want to clap with two mobs as well? Is that 250? It probably is worth clapping. If there's more than one mob, you, you should, probably should be clapping. Alright, so we kill Princess. We, uh, we kill her. Oh my, he's 59 though. This will be hard. We can do it. Worst case scenario, we got a kite. Yaya is chat healer though. I can pit tank Moira if you want. Do that, do that. Pit tank Moira. But stack him. M4 DPS. Alright, let's crank it, chat. Let's crank it. So it's just focus Moira first, right? Okay. Dude, I'm not gonna be able to hit the other guy at all. Dude, actually though, man, it's not bad, dude. If we're higher level, if we have proper weapon skill, it, it can definitely do good. Oh my god. We're not doing any damage, are we? The good news is that we're gonna be able to get a lot of overpower procs, because he's gonna be dodging everything, right? Okay. Yeah, he's gonna enrage, and he's gonna start hitting very, very, very hard. I'm actually topping the meters, because I get to overpower. And the shamans just can't hit anything at all. Alright. Iron Foe or Hand of Justice? You know what? Just a Hand of Justice. I'm not even, I'm not even like a... I don't even ask for a lot. Just a Hodge. How about a Hodge, huh? Just a little Hodge for the boys. Here it is, guys. And... It actually gives parry now, this thing? For the whore. What the heck? You can't just make the turtle your the king, bro. That's not how that works. All hail the king main character. 
first BRD run though. I guess, I guess in this run we're gonna get a little bit of a better feeling of how good the uh, the spec will be for the time being. Because I actually have weapon skill now. You know, so we'll try it out. Chat, look at this. Look at this guys, it's a strawberry. This is a wild strawberry. This is one of the two varieties of strawberries we have in the garden. These are like mini strawberries. In Denmark we call them skoljorbær. They're really tasty. They're really small, but they, they have so much flavor. They are, they're really small. Clean your nails. Uh, Swoodlebar. It's actually because I was doing uh, yard work this morning. It's Smultron. That sounds like a Pokemon or something. You guys want to see uh, the chilies we've been growing? They're, they've actually... I, I've showed you guys a few months back. They were like this big. I think like this big. They've grown a lot, chat. They've grown a lot. This is the chili. Uh, this is the chili. Oh, yeah, you can come in. Oh, okay. I don't want to come in. Look at that. Holy. Yeah, you can see here. Look, 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 look. You see that? That's a chili. Right there, there's a chili right there. And there's a few others. They're starting to sprout. Yeah. We got two of those plants. There's more in the... And then we have like a bunch in the, uh, in the, in the, in, in the outhouse as well. So yeah. So we, we got chilies, we got tomatoes, we got potatoes, we got onions. We got a lot of stuff. It's really cool. All right, let's give it a cry. Let's give it a cry. Try, cry. <laughs> I can't speak. What the hell is happening to me? Please make sure we always have Wind Fury. Wind Fury, please. All right. Win, no, win, no Wind Fury is like my crutch, okay? There we go. So for AoE, I guess this is like the clapping, right? Yeah, we're clapping, we're clapping. Dude, we're somehow keeping up with a shaman tank in AoE DPS. That in of itself is an achievement, guys. Like, I'm gonna be real. We're actually showing up on the meters and competing. Yo! Wait. Is, uh, is it back? Yo, is it back, dude? Gladstone's warrior is back. I like clapping because it has in there's it hits everybody, right? I think it's up to 10 targets or so that you can clap. Okay. That's really nice. There we go. It kind of works though. We're doing a thousand DPS per second right now. Look at the clap. Yo! Okay, let's give it a try here, guys, on the boss. Clapping, clapping, clapping. Bro, it kinda slaps, though. <laughs> it actually kinda slaps. Yo, wait, I'm starting to believe, chat. 900 DPS on boss. Wait, I'm starting to believe. I wonder how the scaling is though. I, the one thing I'm worried about though is scaling, right? Of like Thunderclap. Because I don't, I don't think the clap scales w that well. I never really looked into the scaling or clap. So I don't really know how that would go, right? It scales with attack power now. If that's the case... Then it could still work. I don't know. It's more so best for dungeons, I guess. I don't know how this would work for like bosses, right? Single target bosses. I mean, we'll we'll try on the next one again. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have cooldowns up and stuff. Okay, clap. Still can't keep up with that uh, shaman tank DPS though. I guess I would need more uh, attack power as well. It's doing over a thousand though, which is nice. I'm, all, I'm very intrigued about the uh, the boss damage though as well. Do we have the boss here? We do. Okay, nice. Hey, grads, dude, grads. Can you take the shortcut? Yeah, we went all the way. We did a full run straight up. Okay. 
Okay. Those AOE with a flame shark is crazy too. Now we're gonna see how much damage he can do single target, guys. This is pure single target. Come on, give me give me like a good boss or something. Okay, pop this. Ah, Grizzle. Come on, man. We'll pre pop everything. Okay, there we go. Okay, there it is. I got stunned! No! Okay, I'm not gonna lie though, guys. It can work single target. This is this build is not bad. Like it has good AoE with the with the thunderclap. It has good single target as well. So much damage. It it actually can be pretty freaking good. And I even got stunned. Yeah, I got stunned there too. Oh, I should pop Wreck here, man. Dude, it's actually really good. What the heck, man? <laughs> it's so silly how it works. Like, it does. What the hell? Oh. Phase 4 is goaded? Hey, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun so far. I I'm really loving it so far. I need some fresh air after this. <laughs> yeah. I, I think dungeon... Oh, di dude, if this was phase 3, this is gigabis. This would sell for, like, so much gold in phase 3. What? This was the best offhand. Best and start offhand for Warrior. Gotta love all the streamers are doing the same thing to level to 60. To be fair, I've only done this for, like, uh, like 2 hours, okay? I was actually questing. I just wanted to try out the, uh, the build. I, I just really wanted to try out the build. I have I, I don't really like spamming dungeons only. I, I like doing a mix. Like dungeons and then some some dungeons and then some a little bit of everything, right? What did I just say? I don't I don't think that made sense. Dungeons and dungeons and a bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh lord. We're working double time today, chat. Okay, we're overtime. Alright, we're gonna prop up guys. One one more big boss, one more big boss. I think we're 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 done with the BRD after this for now. I do want to do more BRD though. Uh, please take Aspect of the pack off. Oh, Aspect! There we go. Okay, full rage, full rage, guys. Boss, 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 boss. Come on, baby. Okay, 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 okay. Please give me the orc. Orc! Do you need Wind Fury? Yes. I need Wind Fury real bad. I love Wind Fury. Yes. Okay, come on, baby. Ah, skilled water spill, man. Okay. Dude, I can't even get to pop my stuff, man. Hey, dude. I'm not gonna lie, chat. It does damage. It does damage. It, it is confirmed that the, uh, the the build can work, okay? Alright, chat. I think that's probably it for me at the moment, though, uh, in GL. Thank you guys for the group. Honestly, Phase 4 has been really fun so far. It has been super, super, super great, chat. I think I'm gonna call it here for today. Tomorrow, we're gonna keep cranking with the, with the uh, glass stance, guys. I want to keep uh, playing with this and see how it feels when we get the bloodthirst as well and stuff like that. But I'm gonna call it for here today, chat. Tomorrow we're gonna keep blasting phase four so far. It's been very good. I've really been enjoying it.